Hey, how's it going all you lovely people at Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with a brand new episode of the Direwolf 21.20 mod pack. Today is episode 11 and we have added a new room into the base. I've cleared out the machines over here and I've added machines here and here. We're just using coal generators right now. Nothing too, too fancy. Uh, but as you can see, of course, we've got room to expand over in this direction. And, of course, if we want to expand more, we can kind of probably put an elevator here and just have these stacked upon each other or something silly like that. Um, I'm not really too, too worried about that. But I want to get into a slice and splice. And one of those things I needed was a piece of quartz dust. And to get that, we're just using the sag mill. And uh, that's why I made one of those real quick. It's a very easy machine to make. Um, it's kind of one of the basic machines you want to make after making the alloy smeltery or the primitive alloy smeltery because of course you do need the dark steel ingots. All right, so slice and splice. We need a couple of things here. We actually need an insold chassis which requires soul chains which is solarium nuggets, solarium ingot, and of course that uh, quartz dust. Uh, this is actually just gold and soul sand or soul soil it looks like. I didn't even know soul soil was actually able to do that. But uh, let's quickly grab this. Let's grab a player head that we have up here from one of those dungeons arise. And that is a slice and splice. Fantastic. So let's put that here. All right. We're going to need some sort of capacitor. I really thought I had a handful of different capacitors here, but I'm not seeing them. Did I accidentally throw them into... I'm not even sure, but let's quickly go outside and check on our our friendly neighbor here that just spawned in. What did you got? Sharpness 10, life mending, consumes received healing to repair items. Uh, that's cool and all, except for that life mending one. So let's just get rid of this guy and his pets so I can stop hearing him. I don't want to stop the Wandering Traders from spawning because they might give us a decent set of armor that might be just a bit better than ours. So that's why I haven't done anything with that. But yeah, let's uh, let's just grab... I think we have a basic capacitor somewhere here. Uh, I think it's in... I think it's in this chest here. Should just have a normal basic capacitor that we'll throw in the slice and splice for now. Uh, this should start receiving power, and what we need to do with this is actually get the, um, soul binder. So the soul binder requires the Z-Logic controller, uh, which requires a zombie head. We don't actually have a zombie head, but we could look at potentially getting one by using the Ender Sword that we have over here. This does have beheading. 7% chance of dropping a mob head. Uh, we do have a beheading a thing in here, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, right there. This gives a chance for a player and a mob head. All right, player head. Creatures from other mods can be added in the config file. Okay. So what happens if we just do this? Is that kind of breaking some logic or something? Uh, let's also go for smite. Uh, no, no, let's, let's, let's not do smite. Um, do do do. We do have sharpness three there. Okay. So let's do sharpness three. Beheading two. And uh, I'm gonna wait for nighttime here. And uh, I'm gonna go find some zombies and see if we can get a zombie head. Uh, I probably want to look at getting beheading for our mob farm over here. Uh, don't question why this thing is all of a sudden massive. I've been experimenting with some things, and we'll talk about it here in a later, uh, a little bit later. Because what we're trying to get, by the way, is the um, glass from Ender.io. If you ever look at Ender.io, and you can see all of these different tabs, this is something that's really cool. Not solid to monsters. Um, which means that they should be able to fall through this. Only solid to players is actually what we want, uh, I believe. So this one's for monsters only. This is for everything. So only players can be can actually stand on top of this glass. Everything else will fall through. This is only hostile mobs, I would assume. So if we look here, 
this actually requires a token. I believe is what they're called here. They've got the animal, monster, and player. We'd want to get the monster token, which is a mob soul. Doesn't really matter which one. It looks like a hostile mob will work. Um, I'm not sure if that's correct with like the warden and ender dragon being the only ones we can do that with. Maybe we need to look at doing the player one. So not solid, not solid. How do we make these solid? Hold on. So solid, only solid to players. That's what we're looking at, right? So it just looks like we put a redstone torch in the middle. So we need a villager and a soul vial. Uh, soul vial, they aren't too expensive. Um, just requires, looks like fused quartz. Which, if we look up what Fused Quartz is, I believe that's like three quartz in an alloy smeltery. No, four quartz in an alloy smeltery to actually get that. So let me get some Fused Quartz, get some Soul Vials, go find a villager, and we'll be right back. Okay, yeah, this Ender Sword plus Beheading is absolutely fantastic. I killed like five mobs, five or six different mobs, and got a handful of skulls here. Um... Definitely, definitely a good way to do it. I also, of course, got two villagers. I just went ahead and picked up two just for now. And uh, let's give this a look here. So the slice and splice is what we've already crafted, right? We want to get the soul binder. The soul binder, which is right here. Which actually, we do need an empty vial here. Um... Let me see. Let's quickly grab... What is that? 12? 12 pieces of quartz. To get another fused quartz thing. And I think... What else do we need? So, of course, we need the Z-Logic controller. Which is actually going to require silicone. Which, in this case, is... Quartz in a smeltery. So, let's go grab some more quartz here. Um, do do do. We'll just grab four pieces here, and all we'll want to do is just set this to furnace real quick, so that'll start making up silicone, and then switch this back to just half and half. All right, and then soul binder. Okay, so we'll need redstone. Uh, we also need an axe and a pair of shears. Axe, pair of shears. Do I not have a pair of shears? Okay, let's close this out for a second. Uh, quickly, while we're here, I guess we could make... We actually do need this stuff back, too. Uh, we can make quickly a empty soul vial... Get rid of some of this junk real fast. And then we probably want to look at getting a pair of shears. Okay. The slice and splice does use durability on the tools. And it actually won't let me use a wooden axe. So that's fine. Uh, I Good to know. I didn't know that. So let's just make another one. Okay, and we'll throw that in there, and then we're wanting redstone, zombie head, silicone, solarium ingots, and this takes forever, so what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly stake this loot capacitor, put that in there, put the basic back in here for a minute, and there we go, Z-Logic controller. Okay, so the Z-Logic controller is going to allow for us to then get the next thing. But I think we actually need, uh, where is it at here? Energetic alloy. Because we need some the, of these energized bimetal gears. So that, we need one more of these. A lot of crafting here today, but that's all right. 
So that should be almost everything we need. He says a piece of quartz. So the insold chassis. This. Uh, we're going to need to look at a capacitor here real quick. Um, probably a basic, which is a handful of that, a handful of that. We're probably going to want to look at getting two of these, actually. And then seeing if we can actually get an upgrade of that. Do do do. One, two. Which is the double layer. Okay. So, soul binder, double layer capacitor, and then we're going to also need an XP Ender IO. Close this out. Experience. Uh, let's just look at this. This thing right here. So, we might need a handful of more items here. Okay, so just quartz. So quartz, and then I believe one of those plus two solarium ingots gives us the experience rod. The experience rod can then give us the XP obelisk. The XP obelisk should be able to be put here, and we should be able to store 10 levels. And then here we should be able to pull... At least I think this is how this works. Yeah, you can see it's actually currently pulling from the XP obelisk. Just all the way. Good. Okay. So now what we want to look at is getting the villager here. Not throw him in the crafting table. Man, I really dislike that auto like throws in the in there. But that's okay. So then it just gives us the exact level we need. Which gives us a player token and our soul vial back. Awesome. And then we want to look at getting some glass. Put this in the center. Oh, is it fused quartz? Is that what I need? Or clear glass? How do I make clear glass? So just throw glass inside of the smeltery here. Okay. Let's grab another stack of that. But these player tokens really aren't that expensive. But man, I am going to need to look at another octadic capacitor. Or double layer capacitor. Not octadic. We haven't even looked at octadic capacitors. Uh, but crafting table. Gold. So two of these. Uh, two of this plus coal dust. Gives us a double layer capacitor. Which should be a little bit faster than what we have in here. Okay. Okay, why are you doing that? Hold on. Is this... Can I use this smooth glass for this? Or do I need to get clear glass? Okay, it doesn't look like it. Hold on. How do I get this, then? Oh, it is it is an alloy. Okay. I just wasted a little bit of glass, I think, here. But that's okay. Oh, it's still filling this up. That's why it's uh, struggling on power. But that's okay. All right, so we should have enough now to make at least one set of this um, glass. Okay, we only get eight pieces of this, and I think we need to silk touch it. But let's grab a piece of redstone to make a torch. Put the torch in the center here. And then only solid to players. So why did I craft this? Why did I just spend all of that time crafting this? Well, that's kind of what this is for. So if we actually look at this, if I can place this down here, right there, and we need to build up 
uh, to right about here. And we're just going to place some clear glass. Right on this block. Okay. Um, I think that should just be enough. We only really need one piece. Alright, let's toggle this down to one. Okay. And then what we should be able to do here is actually go and get uh, one thing. Which is eight, which is eight ender pearls. I don't really think we need the ender pearls anymore, but we're gonna just do it for a test. Okay, now we need one more ender pearl because I accidentally just did that, and then the nether star. We're gonna look at the gateway um, to eternity, uh, large gateway pearl, just endermen for now. Uh, let's quickly take a nap. I can't sleep. Well, this is uncovered because the um, the walls need to be, or the roof needed to be much taller. I don't think it needed to be wider, but I made it both taller and wider, and the roof was still too small. So I think there is like a really massive height limit on this. So if really, if we wanted to, we could probably quickly look at doing that. See real quick. There we go. Just so that way Endermen don't just freak out. Nope. Did I do it again? No. Okay. I, was, I thought I didn't put it in front of me. Man, I love the building gadget. It's such a fantastic thing. I mean, like, yeah, we have construction wands and stuff like that, but, like, ah, uh, this is so much better. We may want to look at getting some torches or something up here, because so I think the mega torch is actually too far down to actually matter here. Dang it, crafting table. So let's press F7 here. We'll just cast some uh, some spells here to get this going. I'm just hoping this works, in all honesty. There's no guarantee that this roof is tall enough. <laughs> I couldn't find any measurements or anything uh, on the actual, uh, like, wiki mods page. So... You know, we're kind of winging it here. Okay, so we should be able to stand here. Alright, perfect. Everything should kind of just go into the center. We can just stand here in the center for a second. Hold on, let me... Turn off my magnet. Okay, everything should just aggro to me, and we should be fine. Okay, so this is actually farming the gateway pearls. Of course, we couldn't do gas. It would be absolutely demolished in a matter of minutes. Um, but yeah, I thought this was just a really cool thing to look at. And just kind of experience for a second here. Uh, let's actually quickly do portal, uh, gateway. There we go. That way we don't hear the sounds. <laughs> but yeah, it's completed. It just exploded with all the loot. You saw that. That was actually a pretty cool angle of that. Just all of it. But you can see that there is no items on the ground because they all should have went. Oh, I guess there's some right here. They kind of get stuck on these ender inhibitors that I have set up here. But if we actually quickly just place those in the block here, I think if we just place them right here, we should be fine. Now we'll just place cobblestone on top of them. I think, didn't, yeah, so we just placed it.
Also, right-clicking turns these off. They have a small radius, so do be careful where you put them. But these are actually really useful for those gateways as well. Just because Enderman teleport, you know, prevents it. Uh, but I do need to get our mob spawner set back up. We'll probably do that here in a little while. Uh, I'll probably do that off-camera, in all honesty. But it's not too, too important right now. But, uh, yeah, that is a really cool thing. And I literally just got further into Ender.io just for some glass. But that's okay. That's the fun part. Let's actually go check our spoils here. Because we didn't actually go do that yet. What did we get out of that? A whole bunch of demlets. Uh, every time you complete a large gateway, by the way, you do obtain the nether star that you used. So it's always kind of just there. Which is fantastic. Of course, let's uh, repair up our pickaxe real fast while we're down here. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, that is that is so, so good. Good stuff. Uh, but, yeah, this would be a fantastic way to harvest demlets, right? Uh, also, the knowledge and stuff like that. Of course, Ender Pearls too, if you're really in the market for those. I think we have a handful of Ender Pearls now. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely just kind of a, a little look at some Ender IO stuff. I love how they've got the XP Obelisk stuff working now uh, from all the Mods 9 beta. We actually did see, of course, that it wasn't fully functioning. It looked correctly. But uh, we've got the gateway slash mob spawner kind of thing set up here. And we've also got, of course, our technology room, which has some Ender.io stuff. I'm excited to look into Ender.io a little bit more, though. Because um, it looks like it's a little bit more complete. Cold Fire Igniter. Interesting. No idea what that is. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how much stuff we can really do with this. We also, of course, have their conduit system, which we haven't looked at too, too much. Travel anchors. A soul engine. What is a soul engine? What in the world? I mean, this looks like power. Like their power system. But, like... What? What is a fluid of the void? I have no idea what that is. We also have a drain. But the soul engine sounds like it can power off of, like, certain mobs, basically. So, for example, the blaze uses lava. I see that here. And we got nutria distillation for, like, zombie, zombie villager, and husk. The enderman looks like it'd be the best, but I have no idea how you actually go about that. Looks like we got a crafter here. There's not a whole lot of information on a lot of these things. So I'm kind of uh, kind of think we may want to look into that here in a little while. An impulse hopper as well. There's definitely some things we can take a peek at here. But I think for right now, well, let's end this here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. This has been a blast. Stay awesome. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.